Okay, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I would like to thank you very much for the invitation for the, the, the webinar and to share our experience um, in the, the Sharing Cities uh, program, which I hope, of course, is uh, of uh, your interest. Um, in any case, if you find anything that we can be of your support, just let us know and either me or any of my colleagues um, will be glad to support you with uh, the experience we have been acquiring the, during the last four years. Um, so my name is Eduard Silva, I'm a project manager at Lisbon OVA, the Energy Environmental Agency for Lisbon. And uh, during the last years I've been involved uh, within Sharing Cities program, being responsible for managing the activities related to the, the, the implementation of all smart city solutions, uh, the physical ones, across uh, the three lighthouse cities we have uh, in our program, um, Lisbon, London and Milan. Um, and to refer also, also the three follower cities we have uh, also in our program, uh, Bordeaux, Warsaw and Burgas in Bulgaria, um, which have been uh, uh, following, uh, supporting and of, of course also learning with us uh, in, in this, in this uh, journey. Um, I will start by saying that uh, that the, the our ambition is to far beyond goes far beyond the the building retrofit activities uh, and uh, it is focused on delivering uh, leading practical and replicable solutions smart city solutions um, to our cities. Uh, and of course, focusing on the, on the building rate of it was to make the, our buildings uh, or to conduct case studies to ensure our buildings become more energy efficient um, and to increase uh, uh, also our low carbon energy production, um, also called renewables in our cities. And to demonstrate these activities, we have conduct um, 16 case studies uh, across the three cities uh, focusing di different types of uh, buildings uh, also to ensure this uh, replicability um, in terms of uh, solutions uh, this had represented a total area of almost uh, 68,000 square meters uh, and uh, which had aimed at an impact uh, of uh, reducing uh, 6.1 gigawatt hour per year uh, of energy consumption in our cities. Uh, just to briefly highlight that, uh, as I was saying, uh, these 16, uh, 16 uh, case studies have been conducted in different types of building. We have focused five build, build, uh, public housing blocks, um, also called uh, social housing. Uh, we had three public service buildings, one of them I will be talking about today, um, six multi-property buildings, uh, uh, private buildings uh, uh, that we can call, let's say, uh, apartment buildings, and three private residential historical buildings uh, that have been also conducted in the city of Lisbon. Uh, so focusing on the one of the service buildings we have, we had uh, conducted the, the activities, the City Hall of uh, Lisbon. Uh, and just to frame and to, to, to make sure that everyone knows uh, what uh, we are talking about, this, this is the building. Uh, uh, you can see it in, in the, 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 the picture. It's a, an heritage protected and uh, I would say one of the most iconic buildings uh, in uh, in uh, in Lisbon, it's right at the heart of uh, the Lisbon downtown, and the, the first references uh, to the building date from uh, uh, 1179, uh, short after the foundation of uh, Portugal as a country. Of course, during the its its its, its history, um, it, it had to be uh, rebuilt for three times. Um, the main one of was of course during the eight century uh, because of the Lisbon uh, earthquake uh, and uh, there was also two huge fires that destroyed uh, almost completely the, the building um, so it, it had to be rebuilt for three times during the East East history of course it's not the, uh, the original one uh, but uh, in any case it's, it's the one we have right now 
and of course, as you can see, uh, the building is uh, of high architectural and artistic value, as you can see from the image, uh, with all the, the sculptures, the balconies, the columns we have from the, uh, on the outside, but also on the inside. Um, and uh, here I share some pictures of the, the, the building's interiors, um, some of the, 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 the rooms and the, 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 the main stairs. Uh, so from a building breadth of its perspective, uh, that was definitely a, a challenge. And I believe that everyone will understand um, that in terms of solutions, it's not so obvious uh, and it's not so easy to define uh, what kind of solutions could be applicable to such a building with uh, with such uh, uh, an artistic uh, uh, and architectural value, and of course the challenges well, the challenge was to define how to conduct um, energy retrofit in this uh, building, complying with the existing regulations, and uh, uh, more than that, uh, without compromising compromising um, its uh, heritage, artistic, and cultural value. And everyone, um, everyone who has worked already with the building retrofit projects know well that uh, uh, everything starts by improving the ceiling of the building. Um, and in terms of both both from, from uh, the, 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 the exterior, but also from the interior, uh, it was not um, easy <laughs> to uh, start with this. Um, with these kind of solutions, either because they are they were too expensive, uh, or because the technologies that we uh, have been uh, finding um, were still in a, in an early stage in the market, <clears throat> not providing enough trustful uh, outcomes. So, in terms of, of ceilings, we had focused on on the windows only, uh, but even on these. Um, on this case, um, with, within the interactions we had with the, the national authorities um, responsible for the, the, the cultural heritage in our country, um, they were preventing us, or uh, in terms of, uh, or to avoid compromising the value of the building, the, they were preventing us to change uh, the windows to aluminium or PVC, which would provide uh, better results, of course. Uh, so basically, the windows and uh, through uh, an extensive market consultation with the, with the different suppliers, the, the windows had uh, to be uh, preserved uh, and fully recovered using uh, specialized techniques. Here you can see some uh, pictures of it, of the works that have been conducted, uh, and uh, to say that all the windows. Uh, that you can see uh, now in the building are exactly the same ones that were before. They were just fully refurbished using these specialized techniques. Of course, this has raised uh, several challenges, namely regarding the procurement, uh, because not much companies have this uh, kind of expertise to conduct this kind of works. Um, so, it, in terms of uh, uh, market uh, suppliers uh, and to, to conduct this, this kind of works, uh, uh, the, the, the municipality teams and uh, the project teams have been challenging with, the, with, the, with, this, uh, with these activities. The same or on a different, for some reason, okay. Um, on a different, uh, for, for, for different reasons, the same has happened with the, the, the PV uh, system installation. And uh, dif differently from, from uh, Nuno was presenting before, um, in this case, we didn't have the tile roof. Uh, but uh, in any case, the national authorities were complaining about the, um, the impact that uh, will, uh, the, the, the PV system will have on the panoramic views uh, on the, in the, of the city. Um, and uh, I believe that everyone will know that, that Lisbon is known by 
uh, as a, a seven hills city um, and from each one of these seven hills uh, you can you can have a fantastic panoramic view uh, uh, throughout the city uh, and uh, the national authorities were uh, uh, worried about the impact that the PV system could have uh, on these panoramic views. So in terms of uh, uh, solutions, uh, again, we have consulted the, 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 the market suppliers and we had come up with a solution uh, um, in a dark mode, let's say, uh, to uh, better um, integrate with the, with the building roof without damaging uh, the, the panoramic views. Um, also to say that during the process we had uh, uh, developed several uh, sketches uh, to present to the, the national authorities, uh, each one from uh, all the different uh, uh, belvederes we have in the city in order to uh, uh, explain that, that uh, the, 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 the visual impact of the BV system will not be so uh, high. Uh, apart from this, and of course, I, I, I will not go in much detail in all the, the interventions we have conducted. So in terms of building enveloped, we have uh, upgraded all the windows. I refurbished them and aiming to reduce the thermal leaks and improve the comfort. Uh, the heating and cooling system has also been uh, changed uh, and, and improved for uh, higher efficiency equipments. Uh, all uh, lights, have, uh, all lamps have been uh, replaced by LED, and this was more than uh, 2,000 lamps uh, across the entire building. Uh, the PV system was installed, and we also have developed uh, energy management system uh, to integrate the different uh, uh, energy vectors of the building, of course, and to optimize the operation and the energy use. Uh, of the building. In terms of impact, you can see here in the chart, um, I think it's, it's, it's uh, clear for everyone that uh, in terms of uh, energy consumption or the energy consumption will be uh, the main direct impact um, uh, resulting from these interventions uh, and that of course will uh, reduce the energy bills for uh, our municipality. Also to refer that this building was one of the five most consuming buildings in uh, the city, um, despite being perhaps uh, and across these five uh, high, consumption, high consumption buildings, it was the, the shortest one. Um, in terms of uh, energy consumption, we have uh, um, we have um, acquired a reduction of 50 percent, uh, 50 percent uh, of the consumption. So we have basically reduced for uh, um, uh, uh, an interval of consumption between 35 to 50 megawatt hour per month uh, to something around 15 to 30 megawatt hour. Um, and uh, of course, these have indirect impact, uh, namely on the carbon emissions. And just considering the, 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 the energy savings, we are basically avoiding the emissions of the emission of uh, 84 tons of CO2. Um, but uh, apart from that, we need also to consider the, the gains in terms of comfort, in terms of productivity. Um, so we are still assessing this um, or in monitoring. Uh, these impacts, and uh, I will uh, invite you to follow up with the, with the program in order to um, uh, assess also to these uh, results. Uh, also, to refer that in terms of uh, costs, the entire building uh, rate of it costs were <coughs> almost 900,000 uh, euros representing and again just considering the energy savings representing a payback uh, of uh, around nine 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 years uh, of course if we considered uh, the, the improvements in terms of comfort uh, this uh, this uh, and then productivity uh, this value will decrease of course uh, 
So, and I would say this is perhaps the most uh, uh, interesting part uh, of um, what we have to share uh, inter uh, from uh, our program. Um, some recommendations from our side, considering the, the experience we have during the, 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 the program. Um, and the main one is, of course, uh, to highlight that energy retrofit is not just about energy savings. Um, it's it's more than that. It's much more than that. It, it, it's it's about uh, how to meet the needs uh, of the building owner, owners, the building users, the building managers, or even the residents in in the, the case of uh, residential buildings. And uh, of course, that every project is different and, and requires specific interventions. And on this on this specific uh, uh, topic. Uh, please be careful because uh, the energy retrofit projects are definitely uh, one of the most complex projects to conduct, namely on heritage buildings, or particularly on heritage buildings. Um, uh, <clears throat> and on this case, our recommendation is definitely to consider multidisciplinary teams, um, also because the, 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 the Everyone that works with the municipalities know well that um, projects are usually steered unilaterally uh, from different from uh, one department, uh, and the uh, short or uh, few interactions exist exists between the different departments. So on this case, there's that was a, a really uh, positive uh, outcome to include in the in the, the implementation and the decision process, different departments with different expertise, uh, providing each one of them their uh, experience and their knowledge uh, to, to conduct these, um, these, uh, these activities. In terms of uh, regulatory and re design restriction, uh, our recommendation will be to engage with your local stakeholders. Uh, they will definitely support on being aware of these uh, restrictions, but also on how to resolve them. And the stakeholders involve not only uh, the the companies or the the entities that uh, the, the municipalities are are used to work, but uh, think also on the acad acad academia, um, the the national authorities, of course, but and also the market suppliers. They are definitely of huge help. Um, because they they know exactly, uh, and if, if if you are able to uh, build a trust um, relationship with them, uh, they will definitely uh, support you on defining the best solutions uh, for the challenges you are facing. Uh, also, to refer that the strong monitoring framework is very important uh, to to understand. Uh, how each one of the solutions will work um, and will support a lot uh, the implementation and decision process uh, about how solutions um, should be implemented. <coughs> Sorry, how, how solutions, uh, what solutions will be implemented and how they should be uh, implemented. Um, in terms of uh, smart technologies, uh, the building breadth of fit uh, can be paired uh, with other smart technologies. Uh, here in this building, uh, and uh, as I've uh, shared with you, we have developed a, a new energy management system. Uh, this has been something that uh, will have acquired some innovation. Uh, namely, because uh, the, 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 all the algorithms, all the, the, the forecast models um, were not uh, developed. Uh, so please have in mind that uh, the, the innovation is not a problem. Uh, sometimes it's a, a way to achieve our goals. Um, and I, I, I took this two to the last because there's always something, and there's everyone knows the Murphy law. Uh, there's always something uh, that goes wrong, and uh, please be prepared and expect the, the unexpected. Uh, during the process, uh, there's 
plenty of things that can go wrong in our project we have we had elections we had um if we had the covid uh, uh, pandemic um we had an economic or we were uh, exiting a, a, an economic crisis um and there's definitely a lot of things that go, can can go wrong uh, and be prepared to them to to these uh, to these things because they happen and they will happen anyway and of course the the, the political engagement that is essential uh, without it it's definitely not possible to conduct such kind of works uh, they are more than a starting point they are definitely also important to ensure continuity and interest on managing this kind of uh, project and of course in the mitigating in the mitigation plans uh, you developed uh, consider without this political uh, engagement it's definitely difficult to um, reach uh, a good outcome um, finally to share that within the sharing cities program we have developed a series of playbooks um, each one of them providing detailed guidelines, guidance on the, the, the smart city solutions we have uh, implemented in our cities um, and capturing, of course, our experience uh, and uh, on deploying these smart technology solutions and the lessons learned. Lessons learned. Uh, the playbooks are available on our website. Here's the link for it. Um, and again, if you uh, find anything that could be uh, of your support, that we can be of your support, just let us know. And thank you very much for your attention.